Hi, I'm Sean Siff. In this episode's how-to segment, we're going to cover hosted racing and then how to join a hosted race. There's a lot of different facets to it, so we're going to take you through each step and make sure it's clear when we're done. When it's time to load up your first hosted race session, you have to first locate uh, the gray box on our webpage. Uh, just use the gray nav bar here, and you want to go to hosted, then you want to go down to host a race. Now after that loads, uh, one of the things that we get probably the most questions about is how to increase your balance so that you can uh, pay for the session. To do that, you want to locate this gray bar right over here called increase balance. So the first step, you want to click that, brings you up to the gift certificate page. And this is when you can uh, uh, enter a gift certificate amount. So you can choose how much you'd like to purchase. Again, each race session is only $3, but your minimum amount is $10. Um, so uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to uh, actually enter my credit card information here, but this is what you would do, and then you would add it to the cart and continue through the session. What would happen is that you'd be given a code for the amount of money that, uh, that you purchased. And what you do with that code is very important, so now I'll show you. Once you have your code, you want to go up to View Cart. Again, we're back on the member home page. Then you want to apply the code you were given. So there's my code right there. I'm going to click Apply. And it just lets me know that this will uh, be visible in my cart when I'm all set. I'm going to confirm this. And proceed. I'm all set now, so I'll click Finish. And now I've just added successfully $15 of credit to my account. Now I've got enough credit uh, to go and actually host a session. The first step that we'd like to take now that it's time to make a hosted session uh, is to title the session. Uh, fortunately, I get to race with my colleague Kevin every Wednesday night in our Ren Sport Racing League. So I'm going to mirror this example after one of our uh, previous races. Again, we want to start with the session name. So I'm going to just type this in here. We're going to call this Ren Sport Racing League. And we'll go to New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Uh, one of the great features we have for you is that you can make the session private. Uh, and that allows you to distribute the password that you choose to uh, all of the members uh, that you would like to have join you in the session. It's also easy just to make the session public. In other words, you don't add a password. So for this example, we will add a password, and I'll add my favorite password, which is 1234, and I'll just make sure that I've typed that in correctly. Once you've chosen your password for your session, the next step is to go into this box here and choose your server. Uh, it defaults to the Australian server, but if you're racing from anywhere in North America or Europe, you should probably select the US server. Next, it's onto the track. Again, for this example, we're going to use New Hampshire Motor Speedway. So I'm going to go down and find that in the list. And now it populates. One quick note about track selection. If you choose a track, let's say, uh, like Richmond International Raceway, you'll notice that night lighting comes up as an option. To have your race at night, all you have to do is click the, the square there, and it will uh, be a night race for you. We'll go back to New Hampshire. Next, it's on to your car selection. For this example, I'd like to race the Ford Mustang. Uh, but one of the neat features of hosted racing is that you can add an additional three cars total to your hosted race. You'll see that you can choose how the cars are scored and classed. Uh, right now, I've got all cars in a single class, meaning all three race cars will compete against each other for uh, top honors. Also, you can just choose one car per class, like true multi-class racing. Fixed setup racing is optional here in hosted racing. All you have to do is select it, and you'll see that a, a new screen here populates. Uh, and what this allows me to do is to select a specific qualifying setup and race setup for this race car. To do that, I just have to uh, click SEL for select. And, you'll, and what iRacing will do is it will look for setups on your computer. Uh, we've got a New Hampshire Motor Speedway set already loaded. So I'm going to click that. Then you want to go down to Upload. 
and then you can uh, leave any notes you'd like. Click apply and you'll see that it na it's now populating under my setups. Uh, also you can see that iRacing has a baseline setup for this car but again for this example we're going to choose this one. Then the, uh, the green box will light up, you'll hit select and you'll see that it's here under qualifying. Uh, also you can choose the same setup for racing. Since it's already loaded onto your computer, all you need to do is click it and then hit select. And now you've got identical setups for both racing and qualifying. Once you've chosen your car, now you can choose your session type. With hosted racing, we offer four different options. We'll start with open practice only. Simply, all it means is that you and your friends can uh, just practice. There won't be any racing. Uh, now you can also select your, your, the amount of time that you'd like to run the session. Uh, we've got a minimum of 10 minutes all the way up to 240 minutes. The second option is open practice plus loan qualifier plus race. Again, you want to start by choosing your practice time. We'll, we'll stay with 30 minutes. Because this is a loan qualifier, it means that you will be the only car on the track for qualifying, even though all, all the drivers in your session will be qualifying as well. We'll choose three laps. And then you can set the uh, maximum number of laps that you want for the race or whatever you'd like. So we'll, we'll actually go to 60 laps. The third option is open practice plus open qualifier plus race. Again, uh, pretty simple. Just choose your practice time, the amount of open qualifying you want, meaning that you and all of the drivers in the session will be out on the track at the same time qualifying together. Then again, you can just uh, select the amount of laps you'd like the race to be. We'll, we'll stay with 60. Finally, you can choose open qualifier plus race. Uh, again, you've got some uh, decent options here for how long you'd like the qualifying session to be. Five through 30 minutes are the, your options. And then you can select the, the amount of laps that you'd like to race for. Uh, once you've set the uh, type of race you'd like, to, uh, you'd like to run, you can choose between a rolling start and a standing start. Keep in mind that during a rolling start, you actually will follow the pace car for one full lap and then uh, you're, you'll be given the green flag. Green, green, green. It's important to consider when uh, you're deciding how much fuel you want to put in the race car. Also, you've got a standing start. This is probably a little bit more common with open wheel and sports car racing, but uh, choose the one that you'd like to try. Next, the amount of fast toes. This is always important. Uh, at least in Ren Sport, we like to leave it on unlimited just to keep it more fun. But you can uh, have uh, as few as zero fast toes, meaning if you uh, do uh, incur a little bit of damage onto your race car, uh, it's not able to be repaired. Again, your choice here. We'll leave it unlimited. Cautions. For uh, a race of this, uh, this type, you can, choose with, uh, you can choose full course cautions on or off. Uh, we'll leave it off for the moment. Restarts is your final option. Again, this will only matter to you if you've chosen full course cautions on. Now, with restarts, you can choose single file, or you can choose file, double file rather, with the cars that have been lapped on the inside line, or you can choose double file restarts with the cars that have been lapped at the back of the line. Uh, usually that's the most common one that, uh, that we use here around the office, but again, the option's totally up to you, however, however you want to do it. Finally, you can uh, type in your description of the event. Any driver that's uh, on the hosted racing screen can read your description. Um, you know, probably not a good place to leave the password information if you want to keep the session private. But you can also describe a little bit more about your session, if it's a public session, to try to get more iRacers into that session with you. Uh, and then when you're ready, you want to go to the Purchase and Race Now screen. Um, this is what this is going to do is it's going to summarize all of the options that you've set up, uh, the name, password, and all the other information. And what you want to do from there is make sure you click Confirm. If you see something that's a mistake, you can also go in and click Edit. Everything looks good, so I'm going to hit Confirm. And in just a moment, the server will populate your session. Now, one interesting thing to note is that if you, uh, if you want, if you're in a league or you're the admin of a league, uh, you can use this nice, helpful Use Last ses Settings button. The Use Last Settings button basically loads in everything that you did before. It remembers it. 
So you can simply click the button and then go purchase and race now. Again, if you wanted to do that, you just click confirm. Otherwise, you could, cl could click edit if you want to make any changes. Now let's go see if that session's loaded up. I'm going to go back up here to my tab that says join a race. I'm going to click it. And you'll see my name here. This is my session. It's our Rensport Racing League. Again, if you scroll your mouse over the, uh, the bars here, it'll read out the entire title and any other information you've loaded. Uh, this, uh, this green uh, lock icon means that I do have to enter my password. So to do that, I'll just put my mouse up there and enter my secret password. And I'll click Join Session Now. And you're going to see it load up here. And when this goes green, you're all set to join the session and race. I just want to close with a few quick points about hosted racing. It's important to remember that in a hosted session, I rating and safety rating do not apply and are not calculated. So keep that in mind. Another important point is that your license level doesn't matter in a hosted session. So you can race uh, a race car that you currently uh, in a public series aren't able to race. Finally, and probably the most important point is, our code of conduct still applies to any hosted racing event. So have fun and be respectful to the other drivers and enjoy your session. Thanks for watching. Thank you.